Oh, too far. Actually, that's not too bad. Working on the oval again. <sighs> but it's hard as hell, so I've got a Richard's Italian ice. You don't get subtitles for that. today on the oval I have a complete wiring harness from Wolfsburg West made brand new by them it includes all of the correct uh, like junction blocks and whatnot like that um, I've already went ahead and painted the trunk um, so while that's drying I'm going to test these uh, switches I have some ignition switches but I don't have keys um, I've got codes on these um, so I'm gonna have to order some keys before I can test those. But I do have um, period correct wiper and headlights. Um, so I'm gonna do some electrical testing on these. I have a diagram on the Samba pulled up just to, mostly for this, this is only two poles. It's literally like, it's a one speed motor. So that'll be pretty easy to figure out. Um, but uh, so what I'm gonna do with my meter here is I'm gonna set it to, uh, ohms or continuity uh, we're gonna put the buzzer on and then we're gonna take this guy and clamp it to the side there and put the other pole here and currently it's not going off so actually you know what? I'm gonna turn that around so that I can stick this in here and kind of hold it Oh, it's not making any noises at me, so I assume that means that I do not have continuity. And the switch is off, so that makes sense. Now, when I pull this out, it should make, complete the circuit, which you should trip the, the buzzer on this. So, judging from that, the wiper switch works, which is good. So, now that I have a working wiper switch, I should be able to bench test the wiper motor as well, assuming that I have a good 6-volt battery. So let me try to set up a bench test for the wipers and we'll see if I can get those to work. Try to set up a test here. So I've got my ground, a six volt battery. I need to know what poles these are, what terminals anyway, 31B and 53A it looks like. So that shorted out on that one. But is it because this won't spin? So that's the motor. Put it on that guy. And that, and then. Okay, that was something. I don't know what this means. Because the linkage is screwed up here, or what? Okay, something something is unhappy because I can smell it being unhappy. Um, let me try to let me try maybe to just take this guy off. Back on here. Okay, and then same as this guy. Leave as soon as I pull this out, it should work. Okay, so now why won't it work when it's hooked up to that? Ooh. <laughs> it's because this is frozen. Yes, it's because this is trashed. I think, uh, I think that wiper transmission's a mess, so now we're gonna go. Look into my stash of bits and see uh, see what I've got. <laughs> oh. 
that's the hard part. Don't make me take all these down. I think I'm going to end up taking all of these down. Fun. All right, so the other linkage is kind of a mess. It's very frozen. This one feels good because these move nice and free. But the motor is locked up, so I'm going to try to put the other motor on this linkage. And then hopefully... That'll be good enough for me to uh, put in the car. I didn't realize I had so many SWF motors. So, all right, so now I've got to get the other one off so that I can put this one on. Okay. And then we can rotate this a little bit. Those guys on. the clips okay so now since that's all good I should be able to take this guy hook that up and then take this guy so I got wipers now Just get one side through, I'll be happy because the closest one in here. Rachel says, Come see my welding. So let's go see Rachel's welding. Look at you not f***ing it up. I know they're better. Wow. <laughs> Hell yeah. We're making progress. We're making progress. Well done. Yeah. Weld's done. Oh, God. Get out. <laughs> so I've kind of got these really poorly attached. Uh, I'm going to tighten that down as best I can to try to take up the slack. Tighten up the other bolt that's up there. And then I'll put the switch in and uh, make some jumpers to go to the switch and see if uh, we can't get the wipers to wipe. All right, I got everything kind of kind of test rigged up via the switch and the six volt battery. So it's currently off, switch on. Hey, look at that. We got wipers. Okay, let's try to find some wipers. It's going to be dance party time. I don't know where park is, so. Oh, well, I got that one pretty close. Okay. Oh, actually got them pretty, pretty good, I think. Okay, that's 
fine there. I think I want to get this one a little bit higher up on the glass. That guy about right there, I think. Would be good. Neat. All right, now that the wipers are working, uh, I'm gonna start trying to get the, uh, the headlight harness in, which at least for the front is separate from the rear harness. So I've got to figure out where to run this. Uh, Wolfsburg West provides you with a very nice color printout of all the bits and uh, where, where they attach to and yada, yada, yada. Um, I'm gonna run this really, really uh, poorly just to see if I can get the switch to work and everything and then I'll go back and make it pretty later because I am going to change a lot of the routing um, from the factory uh, because I don't want to run it that way. Um, and I also want to upgrade from the stupid little plastic tube fuses to blade fuses. So I've got to, I've got to buy a whole bunch of like electrical connectors and, and bulkhead things and whatever, but I want to see if all my switches work and bulbs work and everything so I can order it all at once. So let me start running this. Uh, and then when I have, uh, an idea as to what the hell I'm doing, I'll get you back in there. I realized that, uh, Shut up. Um, did you say bacon a lot of noise? Uh, only the sizzle of the welder. Anyway, um, I realized that in uh, quote unquote rebuilding the uh, front apron of Clementine, I welded up a whole bunch of holes that the um, harness passes through. So Rachel's car, the harness kind of comes down the side and goes under the spare tire before coming back up the other side. I don't really want to run it that way, so I'm going to try to run it differently, maybe over the top. Um, I think you can do it better than uh, BW, eh? I don't know about that, but... Wow, oh, how did that... Oh, it's switching between lenses. That's what it's doing. There it is. It looked like I was filming on a potato for the first 40 seconds of that. Anyway. So I don't want to run it this way. I'm going to try to dump it out like up here and run it over the top and uh, get to the headlights. Um, and I've got to use one of these guys to get power to it because that's a little fuse box. So, ow. Um, I'm going to see if I can uh, kind of loosely fit everything in and then drill the necessary holes. couple of the lights working. I had to swap uh, this headlight out for another bulb. The high beam on that one's working. I got one of the bullets working, but I need to figure out a ground situation for that. Uh, I might continue playing with this tomorrow. Not really sure yet. Um, trying to film something for y'all for this Friday because Rachel and I are going on vacation and I'm not going to have time to like film and edit and yada yada. So I'm trying to get uh, something. Um, this was the easiest thing for me to do right now. So um, I may continue with this tomorrow. So are we at tomorrow? <laughs> um.
Um, I, uh, I got one of the, well, I got both the headlights to work, kind of, sort of, um, just by, like, touching wires together. I got one of the bullets to work. What I would really like to do today is get the headlight switch in and wire up the foot switch. I have to, um, test the headlight, uh, the high beam switch also, um, so I'm gonna pull that out and, and do the continuity thing that I was doing yesterday. Uh, wire that up and then uh, get the headlight switch in and try to get the lights to come on via lay switch um, and see if uh, I can't get the basically the front end of the car to work. If I get froggy, and I suspect I won't, um, I'm gonna, I wanna do some testing on the directional switch as well. Maybe I can get those to work too. Uh, so first things first, I'm gonna pull the foot switch out um, and test that. All right, so I had to dig a, uh, a period correct switch out of that box of stuff I pulled down yesterday. You can see it's got the screw terminals here. Um, and uh, according to the diagram that Wolfsburg West provided, uh, this is how it is wired. As I remember, the yellow is for the low beams. Yes, low beam for the yellow. Okay, so this is a little backwards. Unless it's to 56, 56A, 56, nope, that's B. Okay, so, all right, it is correct. Uh, so I'm gonna try to do some testing here and see uh, if this switch works to the high beams. Yes, to the low beams. Nothing. I switch it that isn't working so let me try to clean up them terminals all right so maybe if I clean these terminals out it'll work the way it's supposed to let's see what happens all right let's try to install it I guess All right, let's give this a go. See what blows up. Lights. Do we have lights? I'm gonna assume we don't have lights. I have one light. I have two lights. Can I get a high beams? Well, I saw something happened. I have one, I have one. <laughs> okay, but I can do this. All right, so that, that's at least working. All right, neat. Okay, so, wow, she looks very droopy and sad. I'm contemplating leaving the lens off of this. Huh, wow, dead, cool. All right, I've got this kind of rigged up to make everything work. Uh, so I'm going to uh, connect my grounds up for the lights and then I'm gonna go find that fuse panel and we're gonna pull the, uh, the directional switch off to try to test that. Because I don't know where my wires are. It looks like this guy right here. So I'm probably gonna to have to do some splicing, but I'm gonna pull all that off, uh, do some testing and uh, see if we can get the directionals to work as well. Okay. <laughs> Got this kind of sort of hooked up here. I'm gonna see if I can't get these to do something. Ain't that one. Please. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, that's one. That's black with white, which is the front left. Other side is red. Also not working. Okay, so I guess uh, I'm gonna try to pull this apart and clean it. Maybe, because I really don't wanna have to buy a new one. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in here just so that I can uh, have something a little bit better to hold. Oh, 
try to avoid a mosquito, then you drop the screw. Oh, where did that go? Okay. So the right side, the left side's working. What about the other side. So there's this guy. Okay. This guy. Good. All right. Okay. So switch is working. So now I've got to find some. <laughs> I've got to see if I can find that screw so I can put it back together and wire it up on the car. Yep. That'll do. All right. I'm going to take a minute to uh, wire all of that up. I've got to do the. I don't even know if I have a bulb for this guy. So I got to find one of those. I got to do the grounds for that. Uh, and then we should be able to test the directional. Oh, I also have, I've got a flasher. I don't know if this is uh, any, any good or not, but um, we're gonna try to make them flash too. So uh, let, me, let me do the things. It's time for another montage. Well, things are working now. Uh, headlights mostly work. The directionals are working. Uh, I wanted to try to make the horn work, but these early cars have like a little brass brush that rubs on the steering column as the ground, and that is currently broken. So I've got to sort that out. I did get a horn. I do have a horn that works. I just have to make all the wiring and whatnot go to it. I also don't have a horn button. Um, so that's going to be one of the next things. Getting the parking brake working would be nice. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll run the rear harness. I don't know. Uh, I think I'm going to wrap this video up here for now because uh, I'm running out of time. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like, leave a comment, share with your friends, and uh, we'll see you at the next one.